Hi all, earlier today I set a new ACW no moving uh, record um, and I was doing it unfortunately while I was at work so I wasn't recording uh, so, but I still wanted to uh, talk about it so I have the locations opened up in uh, just in Google Maps and I want to go through and explain all the different locations and kind of how the game ended up going. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, so this first one uh, besides to load, um, just this first one I was just going fast, like I wasn't really thinking too much and kind of got lucky, but this really just looks like New Zealand, um, and it's really nice that we have the coast, northern coast here, because uh, this doesn't look like South Island much at all, like especially uh, with like this kind of tree, uh, a lot of it looks too warm. So we know we're going to be somewhere along the um, coast of the North Island. And we see all of this, like uh, all these hills, all this elevation over here, um, and this looks like a, a lot of like the hills that we get uh, all through here. You can see them on the map. Uh, so I pretty much went in and just clicked in one of these towns along the north coast. Uh, looked like uh, the the road's a little too. Uh, minor to really line up too well. Uh, so I ended up just going uh, pretty much two towns over, I guess. Um, ended up being a really decent shout. Uh, the second one was another... Uh, the second one was a really nice one as well. Uh, so we have the red, white, and blue shading on the car. So we're going to be in Sri Lanka. And fortunately, there's very few places in Sri Lanka that look this dry, like with the super sandy soil. Um, so if we scroll into where that was, I ended up hedging a little farther south basically, uh, cause I figured it could still be somewhere in here. Uh, but realistically, I really should have just gone up on this, uh, this section here. So I definitely missed out on a few points, but yeah, so like up here north is really most everywhere in the country that you can get that dry. So again, it wasn't really lining up the road or anything, just kind of giving it a go. But after these first two rounds where I have like a, you know, 4.9 and 4.8, like start caring about the score a little more, start paying more attention. So this third one, um, we have these very like rounded black and white bollards that are in Switzerland. And I think you can find very similar ones in Germany as well, maybe a couple other countries. Uh, but so this we have low cam, you can tell by it's Gen 3 camera, but we have uh, this really wide blur still at the bottom, and the camera is very pretty low to the ground. Uh, so that's only in a few countries, uh, like Japan and Switzerland. So we're just on the landscape. We're going to be in Switzerland, and if you look at like this, uh, this uh, sign is in German, and these place names are also look very Germanic. So I figure we're going to be somewhere uh, outside of Zurich. Um, and in terms of Switzerland and like the Alps, these hills or these mountains in the background aren't all that large, so I figure we weren't going to be too far south at all. And I'm just kind of clicking over here in this collection of towns because it did look really rural. Um, and ended up being a decent guess because it's just a little farther north, uh, in the same kind of area outside of outside of Zurich. So that's round three. Round four, we had this. Uh, super typical Nigeria rounds with the divided highway and the follow car. Um, so this specific follow car, this police car, uh, with the red on the right side is found from Ibudan, Ibadan to Abuja on the A22, uh, A122 and the A2. And just looking at the um, landscape, we, I knew we were probably going to be on the um, A22, a lot closer to Ibudan than uh, Abuja, because Abuja up there gets a lot drier and the foliage is a little um, like sparser, I guess. Um, so yeah, I mean Nigeria is definitely like one of the one of my specialties. So I had a pretty good idea of where we were going to be. Um, ended up not getting the 5K because I didn't bother to zoom in all the way and click on the road, but uh, just looking at the uh, looking at the road angle. Uh, this like a uh, very east to west. I guess that's another reason because the A2 is pretty north south all the way. 
Um, but I knew we were going to be somewhere in this stretch here. Um, end up being basically a 5k, only 600 meters away. Uh, and rounding it out, we had a UK round uh, with the black and white chevrons and yellow. Ooh. Let's go back into it so we can see what I saw in that moment. We had the yellow back plates and uh, these white front plates. Uh, so we were going to be in UK over Ireland because like, we're also driving on the left. Um, unfortunately, I'm not particularly great at region guessing uh, the UK, but we had an address. We had um, Leeds, uh, 230 Meanwin Road, Leeds. So I figure we're on a pretty good sized road, so we didn't necessarily need to be super close to it, but I figured we were going to be relatively near the city, or I mean, it's just best to play that odds. Um, and also we had like a bridge going over us and it looked like a river over here. So this was somewhat pinpointable. Ended up just trying to go some places around, like I scanning along this river for a really long time. Uh, but in hindsight, like I was pretty, it's like way too built up. Um, but I didn't really feel like taking the time to go anywhere else. Uh, so we we're actually looking at this. We are actually looking at the Humber Bridge and this much larger river here. Um, but Still pretty pretty close, still the right idea, so we still got a 4.8k. Um, and all together, we got 24.5, uh, which is the best before was just over 24k, so solid showing. And no round took more than a minute 20 seconds. So if I was playing in like Harrier's tournament where we have like 90 seconds, like this, this would have been a totally valid game. So, uh, yeah, just. Feeling, definitely feeling great about this, and uh, thanks all for watching.